welcome to today's show. On today's show, we're going to discuss the life of John Quincy Adams. Hmm, who exactly is John Quincy Adams? Well, let's find out. John Quincy Adams is best known for serving in the early United States as a diplomat, public servant, and politician. He was born on July the 11th of 1767 in Braintree, Massachusetts. John Quincy was the son of John and Abigail Adams. As John Quincy Adams was the first son of a former president who himself became president, George Herbert Walker Bush and George W. Bush are the only other father-son presidents. As an eight-year-old, he witnessed the Battle of Bunker Hill, one of the first battles of the American Revolution. Ten-year-old John accompanied his father on his first diplomatic mission to France in 1778. He spent most of the next eight years living with his father in the European cities of Paris, Amsterdam, and London. By the age of 14, John Quincy was fluent in French. He served as a secretary and a translator. John Quincy returned to Paris as his father's secretary in 1783 during the treaty negotiations that ended the Revolutionary War. While attending Harvard College after returning to the United States, he could write in English with one hand while translating it into Greek with the other. John was elected to the state legislature after his father lost his bid for a second term as President of the United States in 1803. As a senator, Adams enraged the Massachusetts Federalist Party. Adams had isolated himself by being the only member of the party to support President Thomas Jefferson's Louisiana Purchase. As his father often did, John Quincy prioritized policy over his affiliation to his political party. John Quincy Adams is regarded by many as one of the best diplomats in the nation's history. John Quincy Adams was appointed Secretary of State by President James Monroe on March 5th of 1817. He served from September 22nd of 1817 until March 3rd of 1825. He helped create the Monroe Doctrine. The Monroe Doctrine effectively told European countries to stay out of America's hemisphere and America's business. Adams established the present-day United States and Canadian border from Minnesota to the Rocky Mountains. Adams transferred Spanish Florida to the United States. He halted Spanish and Russian claims to Oregon. He also created a policy for the recognition of independent Latin American nations. It would appear as if John Quincy was a much more successful Secretary of State than President of the United States. In the four-way presidential election of 1824, John Quincy lost the popular vote to Andrew Jackson. He was chosen, though, as president when the decision to elect the president went to the House of Representatives. Andrew Jackson accused Adams of winning through unfair means. He vowed to beat him in 1828, and you know what? He did. John Quincy Adams, like his father, served only a single term as president. Adams served as the sixth president of the United States from 1825 to 1829. Like his father, John Quincy Adams found difficulty in developing and sustaining friendships in Congress. Adams left the White House in 1829. He was elected to the House of Representatives in 1831. He is the only president in history to serve in the U.S. House of Representatives after leaving the presidency. He served in this capacity for 17 years. On February the 21st of 1848, John Quincy Adams suffered a fatal stroke in the House chamber. He died two days later. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to connect with us. Check us out on Teachers Pay Teachers. Follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and check out our Pinterest page. Hey, if you like this video, hop on over to our YouTube channel where you can check out many exciting videos like the one that you've just seen. Check out our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com.